Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Urmisha Patel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a powerful search box in Tableau. For this, I'm using my sample superstore data set based on which we are going to create this search box. But before we start, let's understand what exactly it is. So search box is basically a search engine. When users are trying to perform a search operation on their data and want to find or filter out a specific records which are relevant to what they are looking for, they'll get it in their view. So that what basically a search box or search engine works for. So let's create such powerful our own custom search box in Tableau. So here uh, from this order sheet, I'm using this product name based on which we are going to create this search box. But just keep in mind that search box works mostly or I would say highly recommended only on the dimension fields which are textual in nature which means they are textual or uh, something uh, categorical or I would say more of a label a textual more a string based uh, if field is there then this search box is ideally for it. So let's create that. So here under this product folder I am having this product name. So let's drag this product name and put it over on this row shelf. Click on add all members and you'll find all these product names which are there within this sample superstore. So to create that search box, here we are going to utilize our parameter function. So let's create that parameter. So click on this more option and then click on this create parameter. And here I'll name this as search bar because this parameter will work as a search bar for you where you enter a value or enter any specific record which you want to uh, filter and see what those product names are or available or not. So kind of search operation you will perform on this. So as I told you this works for the string based or the or the parameter should be a string type so we'll change this data type and make it as string and here in the current value we'll remove it will we'll keep it as null and this will show all values which means whenever there is a null it will show all values so click on ok and then from this more option we'll say show parameter so here your parameter is ready but right now there is no direct connection on writing anything and you will see that filter data for that you need to create that filter uh, filter calculated field or you need to perform a kind of a calculation and see how that works right so for this we'll create our calculation a filtered calculated field will create here so click on again on this more option then create calculated field and i'll name this field as search box filter all right and here what exactly we'll call is contains function so what this contains function works for it works between the string type uh, data whatever you have so any field like this so this is our product name which is actually our string so we are going to work on the string name and then substring would be the one that user wants to search over here so whatever they put it on this parameter so here in the substring we'll call that parameter that is our search bar parameter and yeah that's done click on apply ok and now our search filter is ready but to create that dynamic and see how this search box works drag this search box filter put it over to this filter and say true if you click on true that means whenever whatever I mean whenever user writes over on the search box and if there is something uh, in this product name and that's the only record you want to view not any other any other things right so just simply say true apply okay and now right over here let's say I want to search something relevant to Cisco so just simply write Cisco and you'll find only the Cisco products then same as like Xerox is there anything yeah is there any something like uh, rubber oh we have so in this product name there is a rubber bands box rubber bands aliens big uh, rubber bands so we have put the substring uh, if you are more specific then only the first uh, word within that that also you can make so 
n number of uh, you know things you can work on this search box where you want to work around but the most important thing this works only for the string based or categorical or something which are dimension uh, and their values are string based there and there you can work this or any field you can transfer and make it as a string so work this and see how this uh, search box or search engine you can develop and use it in your textual or something called a sentiment analysis or text mining kind of data if you have uh, then this is helpful i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such video till then happy learning